and I probably have seen it before, but this is a pretty dang cool Jack Skellington staff. Somebody's about to ring a bell? Okay, they already rang the bell. Anyways, this is a pretty cool Jack Skellington staff. All right, guys, today we are in Texarkana, Texas, and we are gonna go in this Spirit Halloween right here that used to be a Lifeway Christian store. Hello, truck. That is a pretty cool looking store, guys. One of my favorites I've seen this season so far. I just wanna know why I'm not on one of these posters yet. All right, let's go on in and see what they have in store in Texarkana, Texas. Here we go. Oh, Lord Raven front and center. And look who's beside him. Holy crap. What did you do to your poor husband? If I'm not mistaken, this little lady's name is Evelyn Leach. Am I mistaken? No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm so glad they have her set up in the store, guys. She's super loud, too. Do they have anyone over here? No, they don't, but they do have a whole bunch of animatronics for sale. They have one, two Reagans. We got a young Crouchy down here. We have a Skelly Bones and a sitting Scarecrow. All right, let's check out Lord Farquaad here quick before we don't have a chance. Hello, Lord Farquaad. Okay, we better keep moving because this store is pretty dang packed with people today. Wait a minute, what in the world is this? Here's a couple of Fortnite props, props, pops. We have a Love Ranger. I think they had these in here last year. Tower Recon Specialist and High Rise Assault Trooper and a raptor. Oh my gosh, and I have officially found what I am buying from this store. Sam, number 1002, with his pumpkin and his sack. That box is messed up, but this one looks pretty good. Wait a minute, what in the world? We also have a couple of different ones. Here's the Sanderson Sisters 3 from this year that we're seeing in all the stores, but look at this one, guys, number 560. It's the Sanderson sisters around the cauldron with dead man's toes. All right, I am definitely getting this. Sam, you just might have to wait. I love you too, but I definitely have to have this. All right, let's put it in a basket for now and carry it with us. There's a bunch of those Sam ones over there, but only one of these, so I can go back. All right, let's see here. Let's come back to this stuff because I want to see what other animatronics they have in the store, if any. We got a couple of nozzles here. Let's keep on moving. Oh, wait a minute, we have the burrito baby over here. We can't just pass up the burrito baby. Or the creeping cat. Or the bug eaters. And hello, rats. Wait a minute, look at this, guys. How is this even possible? I've been looking all over for Crouchy. Now I find him in two stores today. Look at this guy. The one I bought has no hair, and you can see where like it's just glued on right there, so somebody probably grabbed it and ripped it off. But we got three Hugs dolls. We have an Uncle Charlie, who's behind him, vintage clown doll behind him. We got the Rosalie. We got the decrepit Hana doll, two of them there. Another vintage clown. We have vintage Wolfman behind him. There's an eerie Emma behind him. We do have the Crouchy here. We also have another Vintage Wolfman, another Hugs behind him, Pumpkin Nesters on the bottom, and another Uncle Charlie. All right, let's make our way back here. Oh yeah, here we go. We got some more animatronics here, guys. We got a Shorty right here. We got a Monty, a Tombstone of Terror, and holy crap, what do we have here, guys? Look at this. We have a Buzzsaw in this store for sale right now. This is the only store this entire season that I have seen a buzzsaw in, guys. The box is kind of messed up. I wonder if he was like a return. No, he looks pretty packed up pretty good in there. So how much is that guy? All right, $2.79 for buzzsaw. It blows me away that he's actually in here, guys. But you would think if there was something wrong with him, there would be some kind of a discount and there's no tags or stickers or papers or anything on him. So pretty cool. Buzzsaw in the wild. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't know if I've seen this before. The Spooky Skull Torch Pathway Marker. Have we seen this before? 
I don't see a date on the box anywhere, but I at least haven't seen any of these in these stores this season. We got the Vampire and the Devil Door Knockers, the Decaying Zombie Groundbreaker, the Creepy Lantern Pathway Markers, and we have the Clown Toe Tappers, which we haven't looked at this season at all, I don't think. Pretty cool. All right, look at this, guys. We do have one inflatable that I have only seen in, like, one other place, and it's that light-up skull down there. That thing is actually pretty huge. It's six feet tall. I don't remember which store I saw it in, but I think it was in the mall, and they had, like, all of their inflatables set up right as you enter the store from the mall. Oh, my gosh, guys. This store is so buzzy. I have to find a way through. It's like walking through a corn maze. Okay, let's venture back over this way, guys. Excuse me, sir. You almost just poked me in the eye. Wait a minute, here's another crossbody bag I have not seen in here, guys. It's a coffin. What the heck, that is actually pretty dang cool. All the goths are going to have that this year. All right, let's come back over here and see what we have in the Scream department. We have the Light Up Ghost Face, the regular Ghost Face. We have the Dead by Daylight Viper Face, the Devil Face, the Light Up Hanging Ghost Face, the regular Ghost Face Mask, the Knives, the Crossbody Bag, the Hat, and whatever this is down here. <laughs> Somebody commented on one of my videos today that they couldn't wait for the Glow in the Dark Ghost Face Mask to show up. I have only seen them in one store, but I have seen them. Oh my gosh, wait guys, I don't think I've seen this one. The inflatable pumpkin costume. I wonder if this is from a different year, because I've seen all the inflatable costumes they have in here, and this is the first time I've seen this one. All right, let's head over this way and see if there's anything that we haven't seen. I get so fixated on things like this one-eye guy who read the map wrong that I miss other things. I told you about that wedding that I went to that half the people were dressed up for Halloween. One of the guys was wearing this, and he had a wig on. It looked like the yellow one up here, but it was like blue and black. And for some reason, this hat reminds me of Back to the Future. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go, guys. Look at this. We are actually in a store today that has all three masks, shock, lock, and barrel. We got shock right here. We got barrel right here. And I didn't think they had him, but here he is right over here, lock. Of course, they also have the Jack Skellington. And then right up here, they have the scary Ted mask. And I probably have seen it before, but this is a pretty dang cool Jack Skellington staff somebody's about to ring a bell okay they already rang the bell anyways this is a pretty cool jack skellington staff and what the heck is this look it's m&m's headbands i don't think i've seen those i've seen i don't even think i've seen the fingerless gloves i have seen the costumes before but this is new to me wait a minute i have not seen this an inflatable m&m's costume the only one it looks like they have is yellow but that is awesome all right let's go on a hunt for the shrunken head. I'm just amazed that I have not seen one shrunken head in any of these stores. I am not finding any shrunken heads, but remember the other store we were in, guys, where we were looking for the mini hats? Gothic mini top hat? Here's a mini party hat. Needless to say, they don't have a mini Nate hat, but I knew I wasn't crazy and I had seen a whole bunch of mini hats. Oh, they're in love. This is one of those stores that's so small they just have to pack everything in wall to wall. Oh, this Nightmare Before Christmas towel is awesome. The Trio of Terror, Shock, Lock, and Barrel. I don't see a Skelly Bones plush, but I do see two Crouchies down here. Of course, we also have Jack and Sally. They have the Sitting Sam Inflatable Chucky Greeters. We have Sam Sidesteppers. And this whole plethora of ghosts and goblins. What if I got SpongeBob's Krusty Krab hat and put it on Crouchy? All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. That store was totally stocked. This is probably a pretty short video. There were just so many people in there, shoulder to shoulder, that it was difficult to film. I didn't even get my Sanderson sisters uh, Funko Pops because oh, there's just so many people in there. I was just ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, there it is one more time. Texarkana, Texas. I'm out. Mm -hmm.